dilemma here. Our pastor father this morning is not here. So we're going to take the time to sing a little bit until he comes. All the all, not just the choir, but everybody. We're going to sing a couple of songs together. Is that all right? All right. Y'all stand and sing with us today. Let's give God some real praise, not just a little bit, but I want you to really speak to yourself about, about what God has done in your life. So if I see you standing there and you don't, you looking like you don't have nothing to be thankful for, I'm going to wonder, what did God do for you? Because I know he, he's already done a lot for me today. We should come come to church with the joy of the Lord in our heart. Well, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory to stay. I'm so sad. Yeah, be behind. Victory. Let's say that again. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today. Victory, 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 victory,
another week's journey that you have given us. Thank you, O God, for our health and strength. Allow us to come over another week. Thank you for the bed that we laid on, Lord. Was in our cooling board. Thank you for the four corners of the wall. Was in the four corners of our grave. Lord, we just have to say thank you this morning. Lord, you've been so good to us. Even before we even knew you, you was good to us. We have been through dangers and unseen things. And Lord, you have brought us through. And we said thank you. Lord, we come this morning asking you, oh Father, look upon today. Look upon men and women's day. Look upon the tea today, Lord. And we ask you, Father, look upon morning star as a whole. Put your arms around our pastor while he's gone, Lord, and bless the man that will bring us the word today. For we need a word today, Lord. For we've been through something last week. We need a word, Lord, to lift us up when we have been down. Lord, somewhere last week, Father, we have been through the crossroads. Father, not knowing which way to turn. We look to our right, Lord, and we don't see nothing but trouble. Bad news, Lord, and we look to our left, we, we see sickness and death all around us. But the good news, Lord, when we look ahead, we see nothing but blessing. Father, that you have stored upon all of us. Father, we have been through some troubled times. Lord, even in our darkest days, Father, you have brought us to the light. And Lord, we said thank you this morning. Every time I keep on looking around, Lord, you keep on blessing us. What a good God that we serve, O oh, Heavenly Father. No other God that I know, Father, that do me like you do. But, Lord, I stretch my hand to thee, for no other help I know. If thou would draw thyself from me, oh, wherever would I go? Father, don't please, 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 Lord, don't ever leave us down here. Because, Lord, we run running through some storms and we run running through some quick storms. But as a whole, Father, you have brought us through. Yes, now, Father, look on homes today, Father. Homes that have been destroyed by tornadoes. Homes that have been destroyed by fire. Homes that have been destroyed by mud. Lord, we need you down here now. We are living in some rough times, oh, Heavenly Father. Look on our president. Yes. Father, he thinks that his money will power. But, Lord, he's a God who made the money, Lord. He's a God who has the power in his hand. 
Why don't stop by and touch him, Father? He's still on the right track. Not only him, Lord, but look at the seniors. Look at the senators all up there that mix it up, Father. We need you down here, Father. We're going in the wrong way. We need to go back, Father, to the old land, Father. And God, we trust. Yes, Father, we thank you today. Thank you for all your benefits thank you. that you have given us. We look around, Father, our family is doing fine. We look around, Father, you have made everything for us convenient. So, Lord, we just cry and say hallelujah. And we say thank you. And then, Father, when it's all over down here, when our days are done, and the battle has been won. We are give you all the praises and all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Not what you have done, but thank you for what you're doing right now. Thank you, Lord, for being so good to us. Thank you for making a way out of nowhere for us. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us in touch with you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Keep us in our right mind. Thank you, Lord, for letting us be able to walk this morning out to your house of prayer. Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. So you can show God that you appreciate him giving you 
one more year. See, I had my one more year last month, and I don't know if I'm going to have another one, but you don't either. But this is your time, so let's all remember to acknowledge him as we celebrate. Now the next thing we have is a little g jingle, jingle, jingle from <laughs> Mr. Jerome. <laughs> Henny Jerome, we don't know what it's going to be, but hit, oh, and we do have refreshments. Everybody needs to go to the new fellowship hall. We have refreshments set up, and we'll be so disappointed to know that you didn't go back there because we can't take all that cake home, okay? Please, we're trying to watch our weight and our figures, <laughs> so please help us eat this cake. Okay. Hit it, Jerome. <laughs> Reverend Luther Burke 
Junior with us and his family and my godson sitting over there. He woke, yeah, he woke. Hey, hey man, we, we're so glad to have them with us and I can't wait uh, to, to hear him share the word of God with us. Amen. And remember this afternoon, amen, I think it's already been announced that our Men's and Women's Day and Annual Tea, amen, at 3 o'clock, uh, uh, Pastor Gary L. Smith from the Salem Baptist Church, amen, will be our guest speaker. So, man, I, I tell you, if you got anything to do or if you ain't got nothing to do, just drop what you're doing and come on back and hear what God has to say and see what he's about to do. God bless you. Let the church say amen. Amen. I want to thank God this morning that our guest pastor was late, Reverend Burke. Thank you, because guess what happened, y'all? God, we welcomed him in this place. We welcomed him in this place. And then uh, Brother Ray said, well, now that the guest pastor is here, let us go back to our regularly scheduled program. And I said, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up now. It's the reason why God does what he does. And, and, and I don't want us to lose what God has already brought to us this morning. So he had put a song on my spirit early this morning. I said, how would I sing this song if God had not given me the, the power that I know he's given each of us? And the song is, when I, when I think about coming together with you all again today, and I haven't seen many of you in several days, this is the song that he put on my heart, and help me out, um, Mr. Simmons. This is how you sing it with no power, all right? One more time, one more time, he allowed us to come together one more time, one more That's how you sing it with just, you know the words to the song, but you don't have that much power. So if y'all will humor me and the Holy Spirit this morning, if you want to be too stingy with your love this morning, if you want to be too stuck up and too sanctified with your love this morning, it's been a long time since we've seen our sisters and brothers in Christ. And, and I, I want to I, I wanna ask you a question. Will you right now... Stand to your feet and go to seven people that you haven't seen in the last seven days and just sing this song to them. This is how you sing with a little power. One more time. One more time. He allowed us to come together. One more time. Come 
spirit today. He dropped to his knees. Instantly, he had a deep 
revelation yes. and said, who are, who are you? Who are you, Lord? Yeah, yeah. You see, Saul knew that it was God when you have a divine encounter. Yes, sir. You would know. You would not need to be told who God is. Right, right, right. You would know yeah. for yourself. Uh -huh. You see, a divine encounter comes with a deep revelation yes, sir. of secrets uh, that are hidden and broken of curses. Yes. Curses can be broken by a divine encounter right. with God. <laughs> yes, the same yeah. man that was apprehending the Christians yeah. became a disciple of Christ. Yes, sir. I said the same man. The same man that was taking the Christians out became a disciple of Jesus. Right. So you can't tell me that a divine encounter cannot change your life. That's right. Amen. I come today to let you know that if you experience a divine encounter, your life will never be the same. Yes, yes you are going to go through some things in this walk of life, but know that God is on your side. Yes. That he's always standing in the corner. He's always standing and listening. And all you have to do is call on him. Call on him. And to declare he will make a way out of nowhere. Have things been staggered in your life for quite some time? Your business is stuck. Your finances. Your relationships, yeah. your family is void. Mm -hmm. Your marriage is void. Yeah. If yes, then read on and hear like unto Saul yeah. how your story can change and become a successful story. Yeah. You see, it was it all starts with one thing, uh -huh. and that is a divine encounter. Yeah. Life is not meant to be ordinary uh -huh. and to be a circle of the same things over and over again. Yeah. You see, if that's what has been happening in your life, uh -huh. if that has been happening in areas of your life, I want you to shake yourself off this day. Uh -huh. I was <laughs> born to be something bigger and better. You see, you got to encourage yourself. Amen. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Yeah. When nobody else has encouraged you, encourage yourself. That's Tell right. yourself that I, I am bigger and better. God has yeah. a plan for my life That's because right. I was predestined. predestined. It yes. says, well, before I was conceived in my mother's womb, yes, sir. Jeremiah said this, mm. God had already ordained me and appointed me. Yes, sir. So God has a plan in your life. That's right. Encourage yourself. Keep encouraging yeah. yourself. Understand yeah. that life is not just ordinary, yeah. but also has a supernatural side. Yeah. It is the elements that is needed in your life yeah. to make all the difference and demonstrate the courses of life. Yeah. Yeah. You need to encounter heaven. Yeah. Experience the reality of Jesus. Yes, you may not have been raised with belief that Jesus is a, a saving God. All right, all right. And just a story of a man. Yeah. Or that he has nothing to do with your life. Uh, right. My friend, I have some good news. Yes, that Jesus is alive and he's well. Yeah. So he lives in the hearts of his believers. Yeah. You see, it's not me that lives, but it is Christ that lives on the inside yeah. of us. Yeah. So if you have given your life to Jesus, uh -huh. I want you to know that Jesus is living on the inside of you. Yeah. So whatever you are going through, know that when you are weak, that's when he's strong. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. 
thank God for his Holy Spirit. Yeah. He sent his Holy Spirit to be our comforter yeah. because he knew that in this walk of life uh -huh. that we were going to be faced with trials and tribulations. Yes, that sometimes we, we won't even know the answer, but we serve a God that has all the answers. Amen. Thank Amen. God for Jesus. As you read on, uh -huh. I pray that you encounter the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And that when he collides with your life, yes, let also him collide with your family. Yeah. Let him also collide with your businesses. Yeah. Let him also collide with your finances. Yeah. Let him collide with everything that you are going through yeah. in this yeah. walk of life. Yeah. Because greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Yeah. You got to understand that we serve a true and living God. Yeah. That whatever we going through, he goes through it with us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. I say he goes through things that we go through in this walk of life. Yes, so baby, don't let the enemy turn you around. Yes, sir. Don't let the enemy hinder you and stop you from praising God. Yes, sir. Because when you stop praising God, oh, hammer. things start happening yes, sir. that was worse than before. Yes, sir. But if you continue to stand on the throne and stand on the promises of God, I declare he will see us through. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm a living witness yes, that a divine encounter will change your life for the rest of your life. That's right. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, Whatever sir. the works of your hands are doing, uh -huh. I promise I prophesied that whatever you touch become a blessing. That's right. You see, we got to start speaking prophetic words yeah. in our lives. Amen. Because the life, life and death are in the power of the tongue. Yes, so sir. baby, if you speak life yes, over your situation, yes, guess what it's going to birth? It's going to birth life. That's right. But if you start speaking Amen. negativity, guess Amen. what's going to happen? So I encourage you yes, sir. to keep speaking life, life. over your situation. Amen. Keep speaking life over your finances, yes, over your marriage, yeah. over everything in this walk of life. Keep right. speaking life. Amen. Take heart. You are about to experience a divine encounter. Yeah. Yeah. It is more powerful than any force that has been pulling you down. Yeah. It is like a head-on collision mm. of a heavy truck and a little car. Uh -huh. A divine collision is what it's called. Uh -huh. Leaves a life-changing impact on your life. Uh -huh. You see, life is so good when you got Jesus in the center of your life. Because you see, you are connected to the vine. And a vine cannot live without, a branch cannot live without the vine. But if you keep your hands in Jesus' hands, He will, I promise He will see you through. You see, something happened to Saul that day. He encountered a divine encounter. Yeah. You see, he was not the same no more. Yeah. How many of you know that if any man be in Christ, yeah. he is a new creature. Yeah. All things have passed yeah. and become all things are new. Yeah. I declare, if you keep your hands in Jesus' hands, a yeah. divine encounter will take place. Yeah. And it will change your life yeah. for the rest of your life. Yeah. You see, Paul's name was Saul. Yeah. But when he encountered Jesus, yeah. 
Jesus changed his name to Paul. He became an apostle Paul. He was so zealous for, the, for God. Yeah. You see, he at first he was taking the Christians out. Now he are encouraging them in the Lord and building them up in their faith. You see, that's what we are here to do. We are here to encourage one another in the Lord. Because, baby, you don't know what the next person that's sitting by you is going through. But if you can just give them a word from the Lord, I declare it will help them on their journey. Yeah. 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 Yeah.